Hmm. All of much more in my full forecast coming up. Yeah, this is unusual. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, it's so pretty and so peaceful. And then to see this raging river going through and just devastating people's homes is horrible. People were going through town just to see what damage had occurred, but a lot of roads and areas were hard to navigate with water rising throughout the day. Flooding through downtown Walla Walla has been contained thanks to the channel under the Mill Creek Bridge. People there sharing these photos, unbelievable. One from Palouse Street where fast moving water continues to rise in town. And there are multiple road closures in Walla Walla. These are the latest from the sheriff's office. Last chance road between Mission and Stovall. Seven mile road from Mill Creek to Dead End. Scenic Loop Road is completely closed. Highway 12 is closed in Waitsburg between Main and Garden. Barricades are up and drivers, please do not go around them. It is dangerous and illegal. And it disrupts life, you know. We, our well turns brown and, <laughs> and we don't get to go to work. We get to stay here and battle floodwaters. But uh, yeah, it's, it pretty much stops life. The Walla Walla River is expected to continue to rise into this evening. Parts of the Umatilla River are also flooding. And in Weston, in between Milton Freewater and Pendleton, a state emergency has been declared. Drivers stopping in their tracks this morning in multiple areas. Shortly after 6 a.m., Oregon Department of Transportation closed I-84 between Stanfield and Echo because water blanketed the highway. Semi-trucks were simply stuck there. One accident even required first responders to save a victim with a rope. Now, I-84 is back open from Hermiston to the Oregon border. Other county roads and highways were also shut down. Over at the Keystone RV Company in Pendleton, employees showed up to more than 70 RVs nearly halfway on.